Stalactites and stalagmites are two of the most interesting formations you're likely to find inside a cave. However, in my experience, people tend to confuse the two, or at the very least, don't understand how they form. That's what this video is going to try and remedy. Stalagmites and stalactites are both natural wonders that come about as a result of slow precipitation of minerals coming from water that seeps through the cave ceiling or the floor. The distinction between them is the fact that stalagmites are the formation that grow upward from the cave floor, while stalactites hang downward from the cave ceiling. Both are formed by the same process, but in opposite directions. The way that I typically tend to try and remember this is a stalactite obviously has an emphasis on the T. I use this T to think of top. This is how I personally remember the difference between the two. Perhaps try this. The formation basically begins when rainwater or perhaps melted snow trickles into the cave, carrying dissolved minerals such as calcium carbonate, also known as limestone. As the water drips down from the cave ceiling or seeps through the floor, the minerals begin to precipitate out of the water, forming small deposits on the cave surface. Over time, these small deposits begin to build up and up and up, forming larger and larger formations. As the water continues to drip or seep, the formations grow both in height and in width. Stalagmites and stalactites can take thousands of years to form, growing at a rate of just a few millimetres each year. It's probably important to note that the rate of mineral deposition can vary depending on the type of rock that makes up that wider cave, as well as the amount of water that's actually flowing through that cave. For example, limestone caves tend to have faster rates of mineral deposition than other types of rock, as well as caves with higher rates of water flow will also have a faster rate of mineral deposition. Stalagmites and stalactites are not only beautiful to look at, but they also provide important insight about the past, its climate, its weather patterns. Scientists can study these formations and then learn about the amount of rainfall in a particular area over a particular time, as well as the types of minerals that were present in the water. To summarise, stalagmites and stalactites are natural wonders that are formed by the slow precipitation of minerals through water seeping up through the cave floor or down through the cave ceiling. They can take thousands of years to form and can provide important insight about the past climate and weather patterns. They are not only a fascinating natural phenomena, but also an important reminder of the power of nature and the slow but steady processes that shape our world.